Republic TV Africa. Do you want to know more about top celebrities in Africa? Think of Stars Republic TV Africa. My name is Uncle Ayo. I endorse Stars Republic TV. Go to our friend Africa. Africa. Stars Republic Africa. 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 Welcome to Stars Republic TV Africa. I am Daddy of your typical host, Rita Paul. Today we'll be bringing your way one of the famous comedians we have in Nigeria. He happens to be the richest black comedian. I know you will want to meet with him and know more about his career and what he is up to. Help me welcome to the show one and only comedian of tea. You welcome, sir. Thank you so much, Rita Paul. Good to have you. Uh oh. You know, that time, that time you, you you introduced me, like I I, I felt like oh my gosh. You know? Oh, like the star that you are. I was even asking my spirit was asking me, are you sure you are the one? Or could this be me? <laughs> All right. Shout out to everybody out there. I'm the richest black comedian on earth. My name is MC of T. Okay, so glad to have you on the show today. A lot of people call you MC Comedian of T. Yes. And I, somebody like me, I call you of T. Yeah. We'll start by knowing your full name. Okay, um, my name's uh, Optimist Moses Benson. Oh, 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 yes. May, meaning that the mm. Opti is from the Opti. Yes, yes. Just... I looked at it, I said, okay, if, if, there, if there should be something creative out of my name, and, uh, you know, to make it easy for the fans out there, okay, up tea is okay, up tea. And, uh, you know, one thing about me is, if you call me up tea in the morning, there's no way I don't send you money. <laughs> like, seriously? I would have I been waiting for. No, I will find a way. Just between, between 6 and 12 noon. Anytime you call me up tea, just up tea. Oh, okay, <laughs> fans, I believe you've heard that. So you yeah. need to follow him up yes. every day and then just call him up tea and get your money. I'm going to go for mine tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> That was a nice one anyway, MC of T. Yeah. And um, we want to know where you're from because, like, now the, you, you're the richest black comedian. Black comedian. Yeah, so it, it, it's it's now confusing. Like, you're an African. Mm. So we don't know where exactly are you from. Okay, yeah, uh, as an African, yes, I you will not forget to say shout out to all the blacks out there, those in Africa, those in America, wherever you find yourself, all the blacks out there, I love them. And all the wise and everybody in the world. As the richest black comedian, I'm from a Nino government area of Akwaibom State. You know, most people will want to know how 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 possible could that be to become the richest black comedian. But if your dreams are not bigger than who you are, then you are not dreaming. Okay. You know, so the plan since my childhood was to become the richest black comedian. The richest. Uh, and uh, right now, uh, I'm here. We are. I'm, I'm there. I'm the richest black comedian. So I don't know if there's any other comedian out there that will come that out is, to say that yeah, he yeah. is. Oh, the it's enough for the person yes. to still come yes, out and yes, yes, yes. But for now, for now, for now, I'm the richest black comedian. And I give it to you. Yes, I'm the richest. Appearing yes. on our TV show yes. today, it yes. concludes the fact that you are the richest black comedian. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Wow. So meaning you are an acquired mic. Yes, I'm from acquired state. Uh oh, oh. Yeah. So good to have you on yeah. my show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you married or you're single? Because uh, we, we need to know, like your fans out there, they'll need to know how they can approach you when they're talking to you on social media or maybe when they see you on an event. Are you married or you're single? My marital status, uh, personally, even myself, I would love to know my status. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I actually... As <laughs> if you're confused... Oh my God! Okay, anyway, you just learn. You just learn. Uh, no, actually, personally, I want to know my own status too, because uh, uh, for now, for now, uh, I'm still searching. Okay. Yeah, for now, yeah, at this moment that we are having this interview, okay. I'm still searching. So I don't know what's next. Okay. Yeah, because I, 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 the kind of woman I'm looking at to marry, mm -hmm. I, I, I've, I've actually searched around, and uh, for now, I've not seen her. But I know that with time, I'll find her. Okay. Because I, I, I even put a call across to my guys uh, in India 
and my guys, <laughs> in other parts of the world, they help me look for her. You know, these things we cannot do with the Lord. Yeah, no. Oh, you need an assistant. <laughs> yes. Uh, from, from the look of things, I think you want somebody that can sing. That's why you're going to India. Uh, am I am I speaking in my No, I can I can marry I can marry from anywhere, but uh, I just want to marry somebody that will not kill me before my time. <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> okay, certainly you're making a point anyway. We heard that. So if you're gonna be the wife of MC Comedian or T, just know that you're not gonna take his life before time. Yes. How long uh, have you been identified as a stand-up comedian? Right from uh, on stage, like from my childhood. Wow. It has always been my dream to be one of the best comedians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually, I love comedy. Back then, you know, like you mentioned from Ekaiz, I used to watch all those Knights of the Thousand Laughs. Oh, okay, I, you started from, having inspiration I, from them. Yeah, the... yeah, yeah, I looked at them and said, wow. So, I, in days like this, I would love to say thank you to Ali Baba for uh, bringing uh, stand-up comedy to be a craft recognized in Africa. Okay. Yeah. There was stand up comedy in other parts of the country. But mm -hmm. uh, in Nigeria, Ali Baba is, is, has been the first person to bring it to Nigeria. Wow. So when I was watching all those Nights of a Thousand Loves, you know, by Wale Adenuga and all those other guys hosting it in different places, but then I see the likes of uh, Agodai, the likes mm -hmm. of AY, wow. you know, the likes of Basket Mouth. I was like, wow, this is nice. I love this. Yeah, this is exactly where I'm going to. So I picked up courage from there, and then here we go. We uh, Aquabom is develop fast developing uh, in terms of comedy. Okay. You know, we have a lot of comedians, and they, they are not just comedians. Some of them are into movies too. Some okay. of them are musicians. Okay. You know, talent uh, comes in a di diverse way, okay. but they are all comedians. comedians. You understand? Okay. So, so like in Aquabom, the likes of people that encourage me most. In the industry, the likes of Utanga Kwaibon, you know, okay. and yeah, all of them, okay. you know. So I see it to be uh, 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 this comedy career. If you ask me when I start, I started the comedy career, I would say it was when I was in my mother's womb. Inside there, I've been crack joke. <laughs> I, I, I want to believe you had a thrill. Your doctors yeah. in the hospital were coming out too. Hey, yeah, sure, for real, for real. The doctors were all smiling. I remember. I remember. Them, like, those, I like that. Those. You remember the things that even happened before you were born? Yes, yes, I was there. <laughs> wow. Okay, is it on this stand of comedy you do? No, as a comedian, I have other things I do. You know, I I'm also a businessman. Yeah, I'm also a businessman. I I do other businesses too. But uh, where my direction, my main focus is on is in my career. Oh, you, you understand? Every other business is coming as a little backup uh, to my career. But the main focus mm. is on my career. Okay. You do you do you also act comedy? Yeah, for real, for real. I act comedy. Not just a stand up comedy you have them. Yes, yes, oh, I act wow, comedy. That's you awesome. know, in Nigeria these days, in Nigeria these days, you know, most comedians switch into acting comedy. Okay. You understand? Okay. Because, but there's this possibility of being a good stage comedian without being a good actor. Actor. Yeah. Okay. There's a possibility like that. Okay. But whatever you put your mind to do, okay, you in as much as you're creative, okay. you always have it right. right. Once your mind is fixed to achieve it, okay. you have it right. Okay. So they, they, they are, they are also actors that are good comedians when they are acting, mm. but do not really do stand up. Oh, yeah. You know, mm. they, yeah. But but in as much as they are good, they are good. good. When, whenever they fix their mind to do the stand up comedy, they, they will still achieve it. Achieve it yes. Well. Okay, that was a nice one, ladies and gentlemen out there. In a very short while, we'll be going through the videos done by MC comedian of T, and then we'll see more about the things he has done. Please stay with us. area be this one. Where person go just stand, you don't go see any. Ah, see my G! Badoski! What is that? What is the play now? Oh boy! I don't come. My guy, I don't fit tell you because we are there far. So I just say, man, come here, I come flex more. You don't tell where you come. You know, tell, but you give what things up. Why be say for this area like this? Eh, person no go just see any, you know. Why? Just to just say. Even if they just say hi. I'm more uh, you know? for this street like this. I'm eh. more. If, if you see any bunny, yeah. that's so good, go just appeal. No be juju be that. What? Even, even even yesterday, safe. Yeah. I've been standing with bunny. They go just appear. Hey. Before they get just to armor like that. 
Seriously. I they tell you that's, now. He could just say we man, that is good, just appear. He get one man. I they tell you now. You think uh, I don't lie? See, maybe goes. See, guy, maybe goes. Don't try me. Oh. <laughs> I swear. The no, goes will not say. The goes will not say for this country. All of us now goes. This man. Don't try me. Oh. He never sees. No, I remove that straw man. See whether I go missing one or see whether. Oh my God. Say it all. I'm just new here, so I'm um, actually. I what was your name? I'm Bello by name. Bello, wow, what a name! You can't they sound like all these people where they play table tennis for Yankee. <laughs> I'm, I'm very surprised, like oh. like very very surprised to see. I, I didn't know we have this kind of damsel here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just like that. that. It's just oh, like that. that. May God not allow them, may them kill you. Jesus! 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 So now you be the ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you be the ghost. You don't buy my cake today. So now you be the ghost. Eh, well, eh, well. You see, this appeal. If you know this appeal today, it don't be for you. Now today I will make you know, say, everybody for Nigeria now goes with you. Eh, hey, oh. Run. Welcome back to Stars of Republic TV Africa, and I am that your beautiful host, Rita Paul. I love you, and I'll continue to love you all. So we're still having on the show, MC Comedian Harp T, the richest black comedian. Thank you very much. Once again, MC Comedian Harp T. So good to still have you here, yeah, MC thank Comedian Harp T. Thank you so much, Rita Paul. Thank you. I so want to ask, because I've been so thrilled by those videos I just finished watching, I want to find out, how did you realize you can do both stand-up comedy and um, acting as well? Like, how did you realize you can do that too? You know, like I, like I said earlier, whatever you fix your mind to do, okay. then you always achieve it, you know. So, it's all about mindset. It's all about mindset and uh, your readiness to achieve whatever you want. Okay. You know, most people believe that uh, whatever you limit your belief to is where you will stop. Okay. But if you stay in your belief and then you work towards that, yes. and then you keep improving yourself every day, okay. yeah, you just keep working, okay. you just keep doing it. Okay. You know, a whole lot of people just, they draw one blow, <laughs> you understand? They want to blow, yeah. you understand? But I see more to, uh, as an artist, yeah. where I'm going to is not just blow. Okay. I want to go very far, okay. Okay. very, very far, as far as I can go. You understand? Know because when you say one, there's this thing that will always uh, limit some career. When you when you, when you see yourself uh, like someone that has made it already, that means you don't want any other okay. thing. Okay. What well, you are you're in a relaxed state of mind, and once you're in a relaxed state of mind, you dwell on your past glory. Okay. You understand? Know You'll not be able to be creative to fixing and fitting. You know, things changes. Things, things changes. You know, okay. something that happened 2005 it's not can again. never happen yes. again now. Yes. Uh, that is 2022. Okay. And something that is happening now will never happen again in 2030. Okay. So we, we, we need to just keep growing and keep uh, imagining ourselves, fixing ourselves up with the new innovations and okay. the new okay. ways of growth. You know, the things that used to make you laugh in 2005 may not make you laugh. If again. I talk at night, go they look, go they, go they wonder whether I get what they worry me. <laughs> so that's how it is. Okay, I, I get your point now. Yeah. I still want to ask because I know you're single in a way. Yeah. So how do you manage your fans? Like um, when you're down from the stage, everyone is clapping. Mm -hmm. Like you have a lot of ovation from the crowd. So the comedy you just dropped, and they want to get more closer to you. I, I really want to know how do you manage your fans from that perspective? Yeah, life is all about choice. You know, as a single individual, we all know that we have these people that will give you green lights. And uh, if you follow that green light, you might wake up in some way you never expect. <laughs> so what happened is, you know, I, 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 you don't, you don't, I don't really push them away. Okay. You know, once I see the green light, I, I will just make them understand that we are normal humans. Okay. Yeah, we are not. We are just normal friends. You can just be normal, a fan and a friend. You know, you greet them, you hug them. You know, you are the one to trigger this thing. Okay. Yeah, you are the one to trigger this thing. If someone should say hi and you say hi, with nothing, with nothing attached, mm. you know, 
the person will likely be happy that you responded to the hi, okay. and the person she will go her way and, and you go, go your, your own way. way. But once you say hi and you say hello, angel, excuse me, <laughs> can I have your number? Ah, oh, okay. You, 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 you are putting yourself in a state of coco <laughs> Okay, that is how you manage your phone. Yes, you say hi, you smile. I say hi, I smile too, and we move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that. Thank that's you. Our road, that's but if, our road. if you happen to be with somebody like me, I'm sorry, I'll yeah. not be okay with just hi. And we, I want something like hi, Rita Paul, good to have you. Oh man, how how are you? Yeah. Where have you been? I want that. Okay, no problem. I uh, will do that. But after that, I will go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I wouldn't want to follow you to your house. Uh, if you give me stuff like that, I'm fine. Yes. Okay, that's still very nice of you. Thanks for coming again, Oti. So, where do you expect to be in the next five years in comedy? I mean, where do you, where do you look at yourself? So five years from now, like I said, um, I expect to see myself doing things that I that will be remembered long after I leave. You understand? Because uh, the target, my personal target, is to make more history. Things that will be there long after I leave. Then uh, by then I think we should be able to be having some uh, people that we are able to say okay, um, the person can stand out and also do what I can do best. Okay. And also have some other investment that will help humanity. Okay. Yeah. You know, starting a lot of artists have their setbacks. Would love to know what were your setbacks when you started as a comedian, and then how did you overcome them? You know, the greatest setback we have, I, as long as talent is concerned in this part of the world, is our parents. Okay. Most parents will discourage you. But in America, your parents will look at your talent and then they will encourage, they will encourage you to you. go forward. Now, parents here will want you to be what they want you to be. Oh, not even looking not at Not what you, know. you want to be. Okay. Yes, now. And not what you were created to be. Because every human was created with talent. Okay. God created every human being with talent. So it is your duty to discover it, and it's your duty to nurture it till it grows. grows okay. So if you don't discover and nurture your talent, there are no way. And no matter what you do in life, when you are going to the direction uh, that, that is, is not much. yours, you can never be happy. Okay. That's why we have so many successful people that are not happy. Yeah. So now, when I, the, the only thing I, I have to say when it comes to that, the setbacks that we had How then, you then was, was, was they, they would always say, ah, they do comedy, go and learn work. <laughs> now, now, As if they, comedy they is not a work. They say, okay, they will take you to the university, they say, okay, you want to study communication arts. They say, no, why should you study com art? Okay, you should do something like Why that. should you go? I want my son you. to, you know, you see your parents telling other people, other parents, I want my son to be an engineer, my son. But you, you know, say, you know, if you calculate maths. <laughs> so are you now, you're trying to, you see, you know where you are going to, you know your dreams. Okay. So now, they force you, they, 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 they get the, the, the school form for you, register for you. In the department, oh, even your head should, the head of your department is telling you that, bros, this is not where you belong. Go to com art, go to com art, oh, you know, or go to uh, mass communication or, or theater art or theater or art. any art uh, affiliated course. But uh, you, your parents will still force you to do, and that's why you have so many of these entertainers uh, being dropped out from so one okay. or two universities, okay. and they do well in the entertainment industry. Because, because that is the talent the is in them. Is. It is in them. Mm. My advice to everybody out there is that, yes, parents, neighbors, friends will discourage you from going your own way. But you will make more difference if you stay focused and keep going. Because the same people that discourage you today will congratulate you and celebrate you tomorrow. When you if make it. you don't give up, that is when you make it. You know, one thing about making it is that you have more friends. Yeah, yeah, sure. You understand? Yeah. It's just like somebody living around school environment. When you are going to the market, you see yourself alone. When you are preparing the food, oh, you, you, see yourself, you, you see yourself alone. Immediately when, when the you, food is done. Food is done, you have a lot of friends around. <laughs> it will be as if they ring one bell. Bang, 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 bang. You see your friend. Ah! I hope, you're, I, I hope you're not on the side that goes around when the food is ready. Yeah, you're on the side that makes the food. No, no, me personally, I'm, I'm in both sides. They do me, I do them. 
know, I, I did not understand the, I did not, I did not get the logic when I started school newly. Oh, oh, you know, I love the line. You know, I, I realized, you know, when I, when I see myself in the market alone, <laughs> I come back, I do the cooking the alone. alone. But when the food is done, I see my friend, ah, auntie, auntie, <laughs> a boy now, wow. And you know, when they want to eat the food, they will not come there, they will ask you, this one, can you even cook? <laughs> oh, like so, I want to taste the food. Uh, so that you give them for them to taste. And, uh, one word to the fans. Okay. Please do want to hear from you. Okay, to all the fans, all my fans out there, you can continue to follow me on uh, any social media. You heard that? Okay, you just follow MC Opti. MC, then O P T I. Or better still, you can write Riches Black Comedian. Yeah on Facebook. Once you write Richest Black Comedian, you will see MC of the bracket Richest Black Comedian. Okay. I love you all and I pray God bless and protect you all. Okay, we've come to an end on this particular show. Like we will always promise to bring to your way the artists you want to see, the artists you want to know more about. And they always promise us to tell us nothing but the truth about themselves. What I want you to do is keep watching Stars Republic TV Africa. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and watch us live always on YouTube. We will give you the fun of the day. Thank you very much. I have still got a beautiful host, Rita Paul. Goodbye. Africa, Africa.